Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us for our Thursday weather update recorded on April the 11th. High pressure still out to the east, low pressure just out to the west, and in between the big windy squash zone, the big nor'east flow right across the country. It's going to turn a little more northerly tonight, but this wind map shows very clearly the big powerful high to the east, much bigger than the low in the Tasman. And it's between the low and the high that you've got the squash zone of northeasterly winds. On the other side of the low, there's another squash zone, uh, southeasterly winds, and that's because there's another big high out here south of Australia. The low itself doesn't have gale force winds all the way around it, just on this side and that side because of those two big highs squashing in on either side of it. The low is moving in towards the lower South Island, and then as it moves in over the next uh, 48 hours, it will drift up through Cook Strait, and then it moves away. By Sunday, high pressure, hopefully moving back in again. Well, not necessarily hopefully, some people still need more rain, but you know we need a bit of a break after this, I'm sure. So this is where we're at tonight, Thursday evening, six o'clock, got the rain band along here, just about to move into the North Island, certainly pushing in across the South Island, the entire West Coast, and now Nelson and Marlborough, and a bit of spillover into Southland and Canterbury and Otago as well. Let's have a look at the next 48 hours. The front moves slowly across the North Island and clears away by the end of Friday, uh, sorry, by the end of Saturday. So by uh, Saturday evening, six o'clock, westerly winds blowing around the top of the country, a few showers lingering here with a southerly through Cook Strait. Otherwise, the next big high out of Australia drifting towards us. Let's have a look at the next 48 hours of rainfall and good news for the top part of the north uh, of the South Island, getting that rain um, into the 80 to 100 millimetre mark or more for some of these areas. The further east you are, the lower the totals will be right here on the coastal side of Marlborough. Some rain coming into Hotta Whenua, Manawatu, not as much in Manawatu as some of you might like, and a similar story around and wider up uh, parts of Hawke's Bay. But look, most places get a bit of a drenching from this system driest place down here in Bacargill. Let's have a look now at midnight tonight. So there is the low drifting in towards Westland. Still heavy rain. Obviously the rain warnings, wind warnings are still in force. Very windy around the top of New Zealand today as well. Auckland in particular could be seeing gale force winds, uh, potentially power cuts getting into this afternoon as those winds get up to that level that breaks branches. And then that should ease again overnight. The more that the winds turn northerly, the lighter they become, usually for places like Auckland and Waikato. It's the nor'easter and the nor'wester that are a bit more problematic. So this is north-northeast, then turning northerly. Here is the wind map, just to give you a better picture of the winds coming along. Basically, the areas that you see the blue and the green, that's the light winds at the bottom of the scale here. So if you're seeing those colours, it's not very windy. But this is the windy line here, right down the western side of the North Island, Cook Strait, and then the eastern side of the South Island. Southerly winds coming in here, northerly winds to the north. It's a bit messy as it goes around that system. And you can see the strong winds out at sea here, the southerlies, due to the incoming high pressure zone. So this is where we are at lunchtime Friday. Not a great deal of change. That front slowly moves over the North Island tonight and Friday morning. Then it's over towards Bay of Plenty as we go across Friday. Coromandel as well getting some rain, as is Great Barrier Island. Those areas all need it. And then it really does pile up into this uh, eastern side of Bay of Plenty. The low itself moving in towards the top part of the South Island and the driest weather down here around the Catlins. Going into Saturday, the low moves up around Farewell Spit, right here into the middle part of Cook Strait. As it does that, a surge of westerly winds come in here. So sort of Auckland, coastal parts of Northland and Waikato and Taranaki, all getting that westerly straight off the Tasman. And then of course, that means it's a much warmer nor'wester for the eastern part of the North Island. It's cooler in the south, you've got a southerly wind blowing, a few showers around, but still it's mostly dry in a number of places. And that rain clears up on the west coast, head over to Greymouth, Frag fest. Let's go to Sunday now, and high pressure dominates to the top of the country. Just a few showers lingering behind it, otherwise dry. The low is out here towards the Chatham Islands, and really high pressure is in control, or starting to be in control. The centre of it on Monday is just to the north of New Zealand, so westerly winds, they'll be mild, blowing through across the North Island, maybe a few showers here for the top, and just a couple of isolated drizzle patches or light, light showers for the west coast, otherwise dry with a westerly wind building. And our final map for Tuesday shows high pressure to the north, low pressure to the south, westerly winds across New Zealand, therefore still mild for this time of the year. It's remarkably frost-free, considering we're getting towards the middle part of April 
no frost around at the moment, so very mild. Our forecast is that April will be warmer than average across the country, and we're certainly seeing that at the moment, although just that blue line there indicates a colder change coming in around Wednesday, Thursday next week for the lower South Island. That is all from me. Have a great rest of your day. Our Australia forecast is out today as well. Otherwise, we'll see you tomorrow Friday for our rain watch update as we take a closer look at rainfall coming up over the next seven days. We'll see you tomorrow.